routine. So there's not a way that you're going to be able to win on the road, especially, I mean, I feel like our offense actually was moving the ball, making plays. We just, we just didn't do nowhere near enough on defense to help us out. How surprising is that? Because you guys, bread and butter has been stopping the run. What were they doing to you tell them to open up those holes? Well, it wasn't like a, any type of complex running scheme. I just felt like the running back, Moss, was doing a great job of like, kind of like Le'Veon Bay was just being patient and it was just like inside zone. And one guy made jump out of the gap or something, he was just hitting it. And he was getting five a pop, five a pop. And then obviously he was breaking some tackles and things like that. So, uh, you know, it's just a good job of them executing what they were trying to do in the run game. Coach, talking about inconsistencies too, just kind of creeping out, just lose one, 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 lose one. Yeah. How do you get off that train? Uh, we got to win some games on the road. You know, if we want to get to where we're trying to get to, we have to win those type of games on the road. And we've shown that we're two totally different teams at home or on the road. So, you know, when we keep winning one, losing one, it's how you end up eight and nine or nine and eight, nine or eight or something like that. That's not where we want to be. We have to string together some wins. How frustrating is it, though, to lose a game that way where you give up so many rushing yards? It's something you guys just don't do. I mean, it's frustrating to lose any game, honestly. Uh, regardless, they ran for 200, they run for two yards. Um, but like I said, that was very uncharacteristic of, uh, of us as a defense. Uh, so we had to find a way to get that fixed ASAP. What happened Yeah, I mean, we all want to make plays. And, you know, when you mess up or if you feel like it was a play that was your fault or something like that, you know, you want to be accountable to your guys and, that's the type of relationship we have as a team and as a defense. But, um, you know, we just have to find ways to make more plays so we don't have to be saying my bad or nothing like that. You know, it's not necessarily different than any level of football in terms of losing. You just got to go back to work and, and try to improve and, you know, attack the next week. You know, you can't dwell too much on a loss. There's another opponent a week from today. So um, just got to go back to work and find out where we can improve. How frustrating was it not to be able to cash in in the red zone with touchdowns? Yeah, you know, definitely frustrating. You know, I think my last game being the Saints game where we can do the same thing, I feel like it's kind of like almost a loop a little bit. So disappointed and kind of you look in the mirror, see what can you do better in the red zone, how can you help the team get in. Um, but that's the biggest thing, you know, we've got to score touchdowns. No, you haven't been around for a while, but how long have you been scoring in the team? Is expectation to get to get in the end zone? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, like like we said, it just boils down to you know getting in the, in the end zone. You know, when we're in the red zone, you know, I think we move the ball well, but you know, seven's greater than three, and you got to score points. And you know, sixteen's not going to be good enough. You know, for our defense, you know, we got to we not take that back. Sixteen's not good enough in any game. Um, so you got to you got to score. So um, you know, touchdown in the red zone is always a goal for us, and we got to do a better job of that. Peter, I know you're on the left side of the line. Did you see what happened on the fourth and one? Yeah, you know, I think just kind of miscommunications and, um, you know, it you know, gave us a different look. Um, obviously, it's kind of a bang, bang play. It's hard to say without seeing the film. Um, so we got to look at that and see where we could improve. I, I can't talk about it too much. I just can't remember a whole lot um, from, you know, the heat of the moment. But, yeah. How deflating is a moment like that? You know, definitely. Um, like we said, touchdowns to the red zone, and that was an opportunity to get in the end zone. Um, you know, we couldn't do it, and you know, fourth and one with one yard to gain, you know, you got to get that. It's got to have it. Um, you know, it starts up front. How tough was the sledding up front today? You know, I think we had some really positive things. Um, I also think, you know, definitely some stuff to improve on um, in the run game that just comes to mind right away. Um, you know, obviously they're a great front. You know, Kretsch and they played really well. Um, we got to do a better job of, you know, getting that going. So. Characteristic of us uh, as a defense, um, you know, that's just – we got beat, man. They, they got us uh, out physical to us on a lot of those inside run plays. They didn't do nothing special. They just ran the ball, and uh, we got to stop the run. That's something that's been known, you know, being top in the run game, uh, run defense around here for a long time. Um, even when I was in San Francisco, we would always know that the Titans were going to stop the run. So, uh, obviously, that's a huge part of what we do, and we didn't do that well enough Mike, at all. Mike said the theme of the week was kind of validate what we did last week. It seems like we kind of did <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about the, about the National Football League. Y'all came and talked to me five weeks now, and every week, whether we won or lost, I told you the same thing. You got to show back up because the next week is completely different than the last. So at the end of the day, when you try to validate our style, it's just whatever it takes, doing whatever it takes to find a way to win, playing fast, playing physical. And like I said, like, you watch them runs. There wasn't no voodoo stuff. Like, yeah, they had a couple little gadget stuff, but mo majority of that was – the same stuff that lost us all the other two games was 
third down penalties, um, you know, completions on third down, and then something that was super uncharacteristic was just stopping the run. You, you know? guys seem to usually are pretty good at the line, keeping the linebackers free and able to, you know, go chase the ball. But it yeah. seemed like that they did a, they did a good job getting on second level and, and blocking you guys more so than usual. Uh, yeah, like I said, it was just all around. I think the theme, you know, just after every play, somebody was, oh my bad, my bad, my bad. Like we all had that one play. You know, nobody's gonna be perfect, but I think. In a game like this, that's so crucial. Division opponent coming down, everybody's throwing haymakers back and forth. I mean, it was some some plays on that field on both sides where we both felt it. Um, you just can't afford to have that many my bads from anybody, you know, myself included. Like I think everybody at some point had a play where they're like, "Hey, come back to the hole. Hey, my bad, my bad." And it's just in a game like this, you can't you can't afford to have too many of those.